My item of clothing for the worn workshop for Bernard Klein is an actual dial-in dress that I bought in a charity shop in Gala Shields for four pounds. <laughs> um, how could I not buy this <laughs> when I saw it? Um, a lot of the memories are tied up in me doing my textiles degree at Heriot Watt. I'm part way through that. Um, these colours, the vibrancy of these colours singing out to me um, just immediately attracted my attention and my knowledge at the time of Bernard Klein, I had a very strong um, feeling that it was an example of his fabric. It's a full length dress, it's been made by somebody so it must have been from the material that Bernard Klein used to sell um, possibly at the shop in Galashiels. It's got one of these really heavy metal um, zips put in, but it's put, it, it's well made um, and it's size 16, so potentially I could wear it. Although for my last university project, I did hack into it, um, as you can see. Um, I didn't do this lightly. I thought long and hard about whether I should do this. And initially I started off with the hem, but I then crept up a bit knowing that it was a full length dress and that I would be unlikely to ever wear it at full length. I um, had to um, do a project on Bernard Klein for our semester, last semester, and it was looking at his legacy um, in particular to do with colour, texture and destination. And I had a go at weaving from home because obviously we can't get into the studios. So I have a rigid heddle and this is yarn that I either spun myself or obtained um, from other people hand spinning. Um, and also I wove in some of the dial-in dress fabric. Um, and uh, this was partly because I know Bernard Klein himself sort of reiterated the work that he did and, and latterly was started to actually paint on to dial in fabric. Um, this was just a little sample of a an inkle loom that I have and I quite liked how that little item there sort of worked out. So these are ideas I'm probably quite keen to pursue um, and that's my little memory story of Bernard Klein.